Laura Ikeji said, and I quote, I won't shy away from the bottle you carried at the finale. We will fight till one of us can't fight anymore. And like I told you, I've withdrawn all my apologies. And the next time you want to fight a pregnant woman, come correct. Leave the noise. Peace and love. Kai. Yabo Ujo attacked Laura with a bottle on the finale of the Real Housewives of Lagos. Hey, if this is true, then I am scared of Yabo Ujo. So Yabo Ujo can be so ras, stoop so low to pick up a bottle to want to harm a fellow woman like hers. Hey, this one, Ogidi Hey. But here is me now meeting you for the first time and not thinking about, oh, she's um, Linda's sister and just being like, oh, she's Toyin's friend. Oh, how are you? How are you doing? And she's like, mm, I'm good. You get? That was what she yeah. did. And that took me, because my friends were there. So immediately I was like, okay, okay. I moved away. My friends came and said, why did you go and miss her? You see the way she has had you. Why did you do this? You know girls now. Why did you do this now? I was like, don't worry, leave her. Maybe she's shy. I was making excuses for her. So why are oh, you yeah. acting like one so-called diva? Do you understand? I didn't get that part of her. And that just threw me away because Laura was someone I loved so much. I, you know, I'm not following her, but whenever her video pops up on, on Instagram, I, you know, I, I, sometimes I like her videos. Do you understand? So I really did like her, but that behavior just. So do you think that Iabo's reasons for disliking Laura is enough for her to attack Laura physically? Do you think that it is fair for Iabo to do such wicked acts and call herself a bully? Iabo Ojo was the same person that declared justice for Mobad. A fight for one is a fight for all. They cannot be bigger than all of this. Not just to him alone, but to all other upcoming young boys who has risen from the slum and looked up to you people out there and say, I want to be a whiskey. Whiskey, I need you. Till a savage, I need you. If Mobat's spirit came back to life, would it be happy seeing Yabo Ojo call herself a bully to a fellow human being, knowing fully well that he died as a result of bullying? Like, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed, really, in Yabo Ojo. I can be a bully. Mm -hmm. If Laura thinks I'm a bully to her, then so be it. If I don't like her, I can bully you. Mm -hmm. oh, you see, Chioma claimed that Iyabo persuaded her to return back on The Real Housewives of Lagos Season 2. Chioma claimed not to want to come back to this show, but the Sagarito spirit in Iyabo Ojo was persuasive, consistent, and that made her to come back to the show. <laughs> she started. She said, mm, well... She didn't start like, oh, you have to come back here because I would have been like, I'm not coming back. Do you understand? Everyone going to eat shit. But she was like, you know, well, I mean, you know, somebody else would just come and take the space that you have so created, you know. I'm like, I yeah, let them take it. I don't care. What's my... Okay, okay, no, okay no problem, darling. Have fun. Enjoy your day. I feel like Adele she... is very persuasive. Eh? <clears throat> she knows me. Like, if, if I don't want to do something, I won't answer her phone call or I won't let her in my... Because mm. I know that once she starts talking, whatever jazz she has in her mouth is mm. done. It's a done deal. From my own perspective, I feel that she did not allow Chioma to shine. She did not give Chioma any breathing space. She was always pulling Chioma along and using Chioma as a pawn. Anybody that Yabo hates, she always wants Chioma to hate on the person, blah, blah, blah. So... I would love to hear your opinions about all of these thoughts and about all of these stories in the comment section below. So guys, kindly share your thoughts about these stories in the comment section below. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would be talking about all of the shenanigans, the drama that has been happening between some of the Real Housewives of Lagos behind the camera. I would also be sharing with you what Carolina has been doing, sipping a wine and doing some interesting things guys i'll be sharing all of those juicy stuffs juicy stories in this video so stay tuned buckle up buckle up 
kindly subscribe to the channel kindly click on the like button and kindly comment share your thoughts in the comment section below you see despite all of this drama that has been unfolding on social media carolina has been bagging awards it's like i just finished doing um a little one minute um video for a student finishing her final year exam and she was like she looks up to me on social media and she wanted me to do a video for her projects and which i've just done so when i get her words like this is to encourage those young girls that i've never met yes. that i don't know but you know in this time you know girls need to look up to people that like education that please like to do their job yeah. you know how hard it is and there are other means of getting money but when you find women who are still focused i have a mentor she's 52 years old madame joy Omoba. and when sometimes when i want to give up i look at her and say this 52 years old woman is still pushing it who am i yes. you know let me stand up and do it and i really appreciate it and I would throw in my support anyway just to encourage other girls and so right and i'm so grateful a big round of applause to the team and the other ones that are on their way to work <laughs> thank you so very much it's not by the noise it's not by the negativity it's not by the toxicity carolina has been winning awards she has been ah, ah, she has been bagging the deals ah, ah. like this lady i love her, her spirit i love her to be honest with you, in season one of this show, I did not like Carolina because I felt she was too uh, too brutal towards Laura, especially with the allegations that she laid up on Laura. <laughs> you know, I did not support Carolina a hundred percent in season one. But you see, looking looking at the whole thing unfold after season one, looking at everything, I think. That Carolina is the smartest of them all and I think that Carolina is the most strategic she knew that the toxicity and the negativity would not help out at the end of the day so my sweet beautiful yellow purple changed plan she just did not go back to that show and i like her for that because she's an advocate for women she's been into the she's in she's an humanitarian she's in the ngo business she's she's bagging her watch she has a master's degree gone in for phd who chow i love carolina for that she's not involved in all this negativity drama 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 like who drama help Drama can only bring noise to your page or to your platform, but would it bring food to the table? Would it show you in a good light? <laughs> Guys, I love where the perspective, uh, I, I love where Carolina is coming from. I love her perspective and kudos to Carolina for maintaining beauty, okay? And bagging the deals. Now, going back to all the sherere, all the sherere that has been happening on social media between Chioma Ikoku, Iyabojo, and Laura Ikeji Kanu. Guys, it's a lot, and I'm going to be talking about them all right here. So, after episode 11 of The Real Housewives of Lagos, Laura Ikeji decided to share a lengthy post, a lengthy note on her Instagram. She was ranting, talking. <laughs> I'd like to read what she said because she said she consistently apologized to Yabo Ujo. And it seems that the apology was not accepted or welcomed by Yabo. And I'm wondering right here that, so what does Yabo want again? Is she not satisfied with the apology? Or, oh, she, want, uh, she wanted Laura to roll on the floor and worship her like a goddess? Like, come on now. What Yabo is doing does not make sense. So guys, let me just read what Laura had to say on her Instagram page. She said, and I quote, Initially, I didn't understand the dislike she explained in Dubai last year, and I apologized. She brought it up again, and I apologized. Kept apologizing. Oh. <laughs> same, <laughs> same way the other lady apologized to her for something I didn't even think needed an apology. I think the other lady she's referring to here is Carolina. Yeah. So we all did that because of the age gap and very much the respect we had for her. We are Africans. We are very respectful. Funny thing is that I used to really like her. 
this i communicated severally i attended her event stayed so late even though i wanted to leave i didn't want her to complain i stayed there till after midnight but she still disliked me l o l but all that's gone like i said on the show i have zero zero respect for you is it zero or zero <laughs> You don't like me i have the utmost dislike for you and you will see that and you will see that if i return in season three i will show you the shaggy the shaggy crazy side of me that you have been evoking ha now wow now wow <laughs> she further said i won't be pregnant i won't shy away from the bottle you carried in the finale we will fight so one of us can't fight anymore and like i told you i've withdrawn all my apologies on the next time you want to fight a pregnant woman come correct leave the noise peace and love peace out <laughs> guys chai now wow anyways uh yabo ojo fired back on instagram but yabo ojo's post note is so lengthy too much and the bottom line of everything yabo said is that um laura's sister linda ikeji was also a bully and that laura had no right to call her a bully blah 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 like jeez this woman sh this women should be coming down life is not all about fight me i fight you you fight me you do this you do that life is about forgiveness move on jeez life is not all about toxicity wickedness and bitterness now abby so uh chairman further said that she was persuaded by yabo to come back on the show <laughs> so she started slowly but she started in August last year. She'll call me in America. She say, you say you're not coming back? No, I'm not coming back. She'll okay. Like, okay. But think about it, Sha, because, hmm, you know, maybe you want to correct that narrative that they said you're not loyal because I know you're a very loyal person. You're extremely loyal. <laughs> but if you don't correct that narrative, people, you know, yes. just, she'll just be dropping <laughs> little gems. And I'll think, okay, that's true. People think I'm not loyal. Let me show them. I'm not, you know? So she, but I'll be like, no, I'm not going back. Then another three weeks, she'll call me. Another angle. So she came with all these different angles, you know? And, but I still wasn't having it. Like, I was dead set that I wasn't. I think it was in January. They'd started filming. She could start filming, you know, and, you know, she was like, from sister to sister, let me just tell you. She was like, I know a lot of people watch this show because of you. She was like, you gave it an international spin. Mm -hmm. Look at all these, your fans. She was like, you did the best on TikTok and this and that. Mm -hmm. Like, she was mm -hmm. like, Chuma, mm -hmm. like, you did too much for this show to not benefit from it. Mm -hmm. She was like, all the endorsements that you were supposed to get, you went to LA to sit down. You've not benefited anything from this show because mm -hmm. you were in LA. She was like, come and do, even if it's one more season. She goes, for my sake, do one more season. Enjoy your benefits. Reap the rewards of your, mm -hmm. you know, of your sewing and actions. And she goes, look at the effort. Who dressed past you? Mm -hmm. Who did this past you? Who showed up past you? She said, like, you gave us lifestyle. She was like, come back one more season. If you're truly done with the show, then don't do season three. Mm. But for me, come back. Do you regret it? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that. I'm like, yeah, every time I'm like, yeah, but it's you. because of you. It's because of you. Do you understand? If not for you, this mess, mm. this, 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 this animal dragging me online. Mm. If not for you, it's mm. you. She'll mm. now beg me, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. I'm like, okay, let's let it slide. Mm, interesting. You see, uh, you see, Choma, I, I don't, I, I, I do not think that Chioma coming back to the show in season two helped her in any way. She claimed to want to change the narrative that people had about her in season two, but did she truly change the narrative? It was even, it, in fact, she, it, it was even bad for her because it brought her in a bad light, in a badder, if there's any word like that, bad, badder, baddest. <laughs> it brought her in a very bad light that it did not make sense. She was loyal to Yabo. I think that was where she showed her loyalty. But that loyalty did not help her or favor her in any way because the loyalty felt like she joined forces with Yabo to hate on whoever Yabo hated on. Be you know, at the, at the start of the show when Faith Mori was introduced, I still say that Choma did not really hate or dislike Faith like that. Until Yabo started disliking Faith, disliking Faith, then she now took up the regalia of this, like, white, like a queen that she claimed to be, and started to hate upon Faith Mori. 
In all honesty, Chioma did not show that bright side of hers that she claimed to want to show. I think they already started filming season two. Didn't care, wasn't coming back. I was in LA all of last year. I had to recover psychologically, mentally. I had to get, my, and like I said, I'm a very confident, but I'm a strong person. Mm -hmm. Like I know that I'm a strong person. Tell me something, even me, I was feeling broken and shattered. Do you understand? Because I wasn't used to that life, you know, and it's not something that I wanted. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, some people love negative press yeah. or news. Yeah. They thrive, yeah. they want it they because thrive, yeah. they know that like, funny enough, negativity sells more. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Anyone in this space knows that if there's negative, just that's what travels and that propels your career. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't want that. I have a family name to protect. I have mm -hmm. a reputation to maintain. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be in all of that drama mm -hmm. a mess. Um, and some of the wives are so catty and messy. Like, even if you ignore them on the show in real life, they'll start dragging you on Instagram. If you don't respond, you look like an idiot. So it was just a lot of toxicity and negativity. And I wanted to be away from it mm -hmm. all, which is why mm -hmm. I went to LA. I was with my family, getting like the TLC that I needed. And for me, I was done with Real Housewives. Mm -hmm. um, and then Yabo starts. So is Chema now telling us that um, Yabo's persuasion was stronger that, than her own intuition? you know yabo's persuasion was stronger than her own decision and even though it was stronger she came on the show she did not even figure out ways that she could show her good side and make people love her more but she she even made people to dislike her the more so guys i would like to hear your opinions about all of this carolina has just been bagging the deals baby girl has been i so guys i would like to hear your thoughts your opinions about all of this shenanigans this drama share your thoughts with me in the comment section below who are you rooting for who are you supporting um whose story added up you know share your thoughts with me in the comment section below i would love to read your comments see you on my next video but before i go kindly subscribe to my channel kindly click on the like button and comment once again see you on my next video bye for now